Soil School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by The Mosaic Company. For Real Agriculture, I'm Kelvin Hepner, and pleased to be joined now by Certified Crop Advisor. That's the title that he has uh, chosen for himself today. He's uh, this former soil fertility specialist with Manitoba Agriculture, also a Winnipeg Blue Bombers fan. John Hurd, thanks for taking the time to, uh, to join us today. Oh, well, I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad to be able to uh, pitch this new uh, prairie nutrient removal calculator that uh, uh, was one of my last things I was able to be involved in here. Yeah, so that's what we want to talk about, the new prairie nutrient calculator. What is it, John? How did it come to be? How did it uh, get developed? Well, I I guess how it came came to be is that folks, myself, but then others like uh, Don Flayton and Cindy Grant did uh, some research reviews, and we kicked over this apple cart and said, you know, the varieties and the production systems we're doing now probably are different enough that those 40 or 50-year-old nutrient removal values should be obsolete. And a number of the local states had been doing the same and finding that uh, modern production systems, I don't want to give all the credit to varieties, but modern production systems uh, with tillage, rotation, uh, pest management, fertilization, and genetics uh, have made uh, that we're getting higher yields with not requiring quite the same amount of nutrients per bushel as the old numbers that we've been using. Okay, so how do you see farmers, agronomists, extension staff using this calculator, John? Uh, I see them using it uh, largely in fertility planning. Uh, One is that they'll be using it as far as uh, scaling it, as far as the nutrient removal, what's being exported as they haul grain away per bushel. Uh, Maybe even landlords will be wanting to use this to say, oh, is my uh, farmer is how much should he, phosphorus should he be putting on based on per bushels he's taking off uh, in order to maintain the fertility. So I see it as a way to maintain and and, uh, uh, target fertility levels in the field. And 12 different crops, I believe? 12 crops, 12 different crops, things that we have never heard of before here in Manitoba, like uh, uh, lentils and things like that. But for us, it's the core cereals, uh, canola, uh, uh, dry beans, soybeans, and corn are the ones that Manitoba growers are probably going to uh, most likely tune into. Okay. And we're looking at macronutrients as well as a few micronutrients as uh, well? Yeah, the macronutrients, N, P, K, and S, and I believe the micronutrients were boron, uh, zinc, and copper okay. were the ones that were analyzed. Okay. Mm-hmm. So how do these numbers compare with some of the methods we used in the past to, to come up with understanding what a crop removed from the I field. I think we're seeing that a bunch of our crops now are meaner and leaner. And so they're producing a bushel of crop uh, with removing less phosphorus. Our, our values, for example, for canola used to be about a pound of phosphorus per bushel. And, and now that's substantially less than that. A farmer, when they grow canola now, still need more phosphorus, but it's because the bushels are so much more, not the concentration. The concentration is actually less. Okay. In the past, some people would have carried a, a agronomist might have carried a, a card around with oh, this, in, uh, in their uh, wallet. Yes, this you, you, agron- do you even yeah, have? Oh, yeah. Do you have one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so in the past, this is what I could answer fairly quickly. Uh, uh, when people would say, "Oh, what's the removal?" I would have something like this. Now there are you know, nerds wandering around with smartphones and things like this, and they can use this app and... What? Oh. We, who, it's Marla, Marla Rickman. Oh, I see you've got your phone with hi you guys. today. Hi, what are you talking about? Well, why, why don't we put this to the test? Kelvin, you, you ask us, make up a crop, make up a yield, and we'll see who gets back to you with the NPK and S. Okay, so this, this wheat behind us looks a little bit drought-stressed. Drought what would the yield potential be here? Uh, maybe 60, 50, 60 might be optimistic. Okay, I'm just taking 35. Okay, let's say, let's be optimistic. Let's say 50 bushels okay. an acre spring wheat. Marla's already calcul- looking it up. There you go. On, I say 121 N, 42 P205, 85. Oh, sorry, that's uptake. Removal. Oh, we're talking removal here, John. Come on, removal. Okay, 1.5 pounds per bushel of nitrogen, 0. 0.6 of phosphate, 0. 0.34 of potassium. What's oh, okay, but you got to do the calculation, John. 50 bushels, removal, nitrogen, pounds per acre. 
Do you, you okay. want to do the calculation for me, or do you want me to just read out my well, numbers? It to me. <laughs> okay, so the new and improved nutrient uh, removal rates for that 50 bushel spring wheat is 73 pounds per acre for N, 27 for P205, 14 for potash, 5 for sulfur, boron 0 0.004, copper 0 0.016, and zinc 0 0.095. So you, you, you could stick with the, 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 this method. And in fact, I, I will maybe uh, work with uh, some of the local groups here and maybe we'll develop a wallet card for those of us that are not as nerdy. Or an updated <laughs> app. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you can show the address for this app on your yes. real agricultural scene. People should tune into it. It's, it's relevant, it's prairie based. And uh, uh, people say, oh, it might be more conservative. Actually, Dr. Fran Wally has built into it. It's, it's following the same uh, criteria that Illinois and Iowa use. It's not the average amount, but it's the 75th percentile. So it will tend to fertilize so that there's not a chance of, of uh, 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 undershooting. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a good, sound, uh, relevant way to, to, to guide your fertility program. So when you pulled out your card, though, John, you were looking at removal, I believe, not uh, uptake. What, what's the difference yes, there? My card has both removal and uptake. And so removal is what's in the grain. Uptake is what it takes to grow that plant. And we do have those values also. They're in the final report. They're not in the app. But they're the type of thing that uh, is often interesting to know. What's the total amount required to grow that crop? And I'll see if I can put that in a card for... <laughs> well, maybe Manitoba Crop Alliance or someone like that. I think most people have a phone these days, John. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right, Marla? Ab absolutely. I was going to say earlier that this is my wallet now. I don't think I have room for a card in there, John. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to have both of you back together again, even though if only one of you is getting paid for doing this. But yeah. thank, thank you both, John and Marla. Well, Thank you, and, and thank you for uh, promoting this. We, we think it's uh, one of the uh, things, and it's, it's a partnership between industry and, and the university uh, to get relevant information to farmers All right. and agronomists. Thank you both. Thanks. Thank you.